Greetings Weirdlings, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Austin, I hope you're doing well, and I am using a new microphone. And when I mean new microphone, I mean a 10 year old microphone made for Guitar Hero. Uh, tell me how it sounds in the comments down below. So today's video, we are talking about 2 plus 2 equals 5. A concept famously explored in Orwell's book, 1984. And luckily, it is on the Unusual Articles Wikipedia page, where the description reads, Or perhaps it equals 1984. I don't really know what else to add to these to this intro. So, let's just get started. On January 24th, Apple Computer will introduce Macintosh. And you'll see why 1984 won't be like 1984. The equation 2 plus 2 equals 5 is perhaps most famously associated with George Orwell's 1984. A novel depicting a dystopian society where the government dictates the absolute truth. At the end of the story, our protagonist Winston goes under some torture, during which his tormentor O'Brien says, Sometimes they are five, sometimes they are three, sometimes they are all of them at once. Illustrating the concept of doublethink. The anti-intellectual slogan 2 plus 2 equals 5 predates Orwell and has been explored in many artistic forms. Examples include Alphonse Allais' 1895 collection of absurdist short stories, called Du et du font cinq. Du et du font cinq. Which is French for two and two make five. And the 1920 Imagist Art Manifesto, two times two equals five, by poet Vadim Shershanovich. Dva zvezdechka dva ravno pets. Vadim Shershanovich. expression 2 plus 2 equals 4 has been acknowledged as a self-evident truth since the 16th century with documented references as early as 1562 in Johann Wingard's De Neutral Bus et Medis Libellus. It is asserted that doubting the correctness of the statement is unlawful as such knowledge is considered inherent in human nature. This implies that individuals are not legally or reasonably permitted to question the veracity of this mathematical fact. However, in Rene Descartes' meditation on philosophy in which the existence of God and the immortality of the soul are demonstrated, a different perspective is presented Descartes suggests that a self-evident idea, like 2 plus 2 equals 4, may lack external reality and exist solely within the realm of the mind. In Molaire's Comedy of Manners play, Nam Juan, or The Feast with the Statue, the title character, when questioned about his beliefs, he states, 2 plus 2 equals 4. 2 plus 2 equals 5 appears in historical records as early as 1728 in Ephraim Chambers' Cyclopedia or An Universal Dictionary of Arts and Sciences. It is highlighted that affirming such a proposition would be deemed absurd, emphasizing the fundamental correctness of the statement, saying, thus a proposition would be absurd that should affirm that two and two make five, or that should deny them to make four. And in a letter from Lord Byron to his fiancee, Annabella Milbank, it states, I know that two and two make four, and should be glad to prove it, too. If I could, though, I must say, if by any sort of process, I could convert 2 and 2 into 5, it would give me much great pleasure.
The origin of the phrase 2 plus 2 equals 5 in a political context dates back to France in 1789, right at the start of the French Revolution, with Abbé Sayez, I, I can't speak French, I'm sorry, with that, well, with that guy saying, Consequently, if it is claimed that under the French Constitution, 200,000 individuals out of 26 million citizens constitutes two-thirds of the common will, only one comment is possible. It is a claim this statement served as a satirical critique of the estate general who granted disproportionate voting power to the aristocracy and clergy. In 1834, the one and only Honoré de Balzac expressed a similar sentiment in his novel Seraphita, saying this. Feel free to pause it to read it. There's also that collection of short stories from earlier. The phrase also appeared in Soviet propaganda. In 1928, the Soviet Union launched its first five-year plan, aiming for immediate transformation within the USSR, shifting it toward industrialization. Propagandist Ayakov Guminer supported this initiative, as demonstrated by his 1931 poster declaring arithmetic of an alternative plan. Two plus two plus the enthusiasm of the workers equals five. Now it's time for some more well again. He was familiar with the whole, if the government says 2 plus 2 equals 5, then 2 plus 2 equals 5, before he wrote and published 1984 and 1949. He became antiquated with how Nazis made propaganda when he worked for the BBC. In 1943, he published an essay called Looking Back on the Spanish War, which stated this. In the eyes of most of Orwell's biographers, the main source for this was Assignment in Utopia by Eugene Lyons, an account of his time in the Soviet Union containing a chapter called 2 plus 2 equals 5, referring to Guminer's slogan. However, Orwell spoke of the Nazis, not the Soviets, so it is plausible that he wrote about Reich Marshal Hermann Gorig, who once, in a debatably hyperbolic display of loyalty to Adolf Hitler, declared, if the fear wants it, two and two make five. In 1984, Orwell writes this. During the 2009 Iranian presidential debates, reformist candidate Mir Hossein Mousavi accused President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad this last name <laughs> of being illogical by suggesting that if asked about the result of 2 plus 2, Ahmadinejad might respond with 5. In 2007, media critic Andrew Keane employed a similar phrase in his criticism of Wikipedia's open editing policy. Keane, alongside Marshall Poe, argued that this approach results in an encyclopedia of common knowledge rather than expert knowledge, expressing concern about the potential distortion of truth through the wisdom of the crowd. In 2017, Italian Catholic priest Antonio Spadero, a close associate of Pope Francis, took to Twitter and said, Theology is not hashtag mathematics. Two plus two in hashtag theology can make five, because it has to do with hashtag God and not the real hashtag life of hashtag people. 
Many traditional Catholics perceived this tweet as alluding to alleged contradictions in certain interpretations of Amoris Laetitia. Former mathematician Kareem Carr has said, If anybody says 2 plus 2 equals 5, the correct spawn... Former mathematician Kareem Carr has said, if someone says 2 plus 2 equals 5, the correct response is, what are your definitions and axioms? Not a rant about the decline of Western civilization. Alright, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm still figuring out how to not only write the ending of these scripts, but the entire script itself. Especially considering I initially wrote this script almost four years ago, back in 2020, when I first started this channel. <laughs> this is basically a second draft of it. But anyway, that's the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. The next video is going to be uh, a little gross and uh, not safe for work. And that is Two Girls, One Cup. Cannot believe I'm talking about that. That video is going to be manually age restricted. Stay tuned for that and get the puke bucket ready. See you next time.